Here's how to back up your files using Google Drive. Google Drive, the new product from Google. Uh, what you have to have is a Google Plus account first. So first, put in Google Plus here if you haven't joined, and join Google Plus. Below the video, you can con connect with us on Google Plus. Subscribe to the videos as well. So once you're in here, this is what the, what'll actually look like once you actually have it in place. So you've got your Google Plus, and and after you where you you check your emails, there's a YouTube. You've got Drive. So first of all is get, is to go into Google Plus, get that set up, and then once you've got that set up, then you put Google Drive into Google and then download the app and it'll actually appear on the up there so then what you actually do if you want to actually save something I've actually saved all my Dropbox I've saved all my Outlook Express but I'll just show you how to save a little file first so if you go if you, there's all the files and folders so you can click on that this is the desktop ones that's the document ones depending on what you actually have pictures, if you want to save pictures. But I'll just go and save something on um, the desktop. So what should we save? Just anything, this thing about Gil Bill Gates. So just click on that, and then you press open, and then it'll say, if you want to, if you want to save, quickly, and there you are, it's saved. So there's that little picture now stored. So that's as easy as it is. So back up all the things you actually want. You can store loads of stuff for free. Uh, and then even if you get it at the next level up, it's, it's only $2.5 uh, $2 for absolutely huge space. But most people can save most of the important stuff. So you don't ever have to worry about it. It's all backed up. And then if you want to share that with somebody, all you do there is share. And actually enter the people's name, e email address, or a group, and they get sent to them, and they can actually read it. So that's not for a little file like a picture. That's not so important, but for big files, like videos and things, and PowerPoint presentations, it's a fantastic way to share the information.